This is the Toolbox Elite Plus, the newest one-hand editing controller from Toolbox. And honestly, I have been really impressed with it. Whether you are editing videos, retouching photos, doing graphic design, or color grading, this little device can handle a lot. But more than that, it just made the whole process feel more smoother and more fun. If you've been following me for a while, you probably remember when I reviewed the Toolbox Elite about a year ago. I've been using it almost every day since, especially in diverse results for both client work and my own content. And for the most part, I was pretty happy with it. But there were still a few things I wish it could do, especially when it comes to color grading. So when Toolbox reached out and sent me the new Elite Plus, I was super curious to see what's new and whether it actually feels different. In this video, I will share my hands-on experience with the Elite Plus and how it level up my editing workflow, especially in diverse results. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Alright, quick refresher if you are new to this. What exactly is Toolbox? It's a one-hand editing controller that works with a bunch of creative software. Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Lightroom, Capture One, pretty much anything you use to create. You can download presets per file or customize every single button to feel the way you work. It helps you edit faster without consistently switching between keyboard and mouse. I did a more in-depth setup video before. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check out that out later. But today, let's focus on what's new with the Elite Plus. So visually, the Elite Plus doesn't look that different from the last one. Same button layout, similar shape. But the new Toolbox Elite Plus comes in this ice translucent color, which I personally love. I think it looks a lot more stylish compared to the modern small black translucent version I used before. Of course, it really depends on the personal preference. And technically, there aren't made any major change in terms of ergonomics, but the buttons do feel smoother, more responsive, and the overall experience is just a bit more refined. From my own experience, even though the size is technically the same, when I used the previous Elite model, it was still manageable with one hand. But after long seasons, my hand would sometimes get a bit tired. The button layout feels just slightly more spaced out compared to the Elite Plus. With the Elite Plus, it actually feels smaller in my hands, so it's noticeably more comfortable. And my hands doesn't get as tired during long edits, even though the physical design hasn't changed much. The feel of using it is slightly better. And those small differences really start to matter when you are working for hours at a time. Now, the next part, this is the one I was most excited about. Back when I reviewed the original Toolbox, I mentioned one thing I really wanted, being able to control the color wheels in DaVinci Resolve. Well, I actually shared that feedback with Toolbox, and turns out they were already working on it. A little while later, they gave me early assist to a beta feature called Hover Adjust. It's not official release yet, but it's expected to roll out around early July. And even in beta, it's been great. Here's how it works. On the color page in Resolve, just hover your mouse over a parameter, like a color wheel, and once the little corner icon pops out, you can control it directly with the toolbox. Scroll to adjust value, spin the knob to move the color dot, and it works really smoothly. You can also adjust things like tint, sharpness, saturation, or other settings inside the color and edit page. Even on third-party plugins like Enhancer and Retouch for Me, which I use daily, it works perfectly so far, and it's actually really convenient. Right now, it doesn't work on the Fusion or Fairlight page yet, but even so, it's already made my grading workflow way easier. Another cool new feature is iPad support. Yeah, the Elite Plus now works with iPad OS. You can plug it in and use it with the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, CapCut, and more. I tested it on my older iPad Pro, and while my device doesn't fully support editing workflows, I was still able to set up buttons and test things out. It works great, and I can totally see the potential once I upgrade to a newer iPad. If you are someone who edits on the go or does short form content, this could save you a lot of time. There are also a few smaller updates that are worth mentioning. One is the Timeline Pointer Plus feature. You now get options like Variable Speed, Single Frame, and Multiple Frame. The Variable Speed setting that you adjust sensitivity, which is super helpful on long edits. Another is Shutter Browse. This lets you scroll through your timeline with inertia, without actually moving the playhead. It's a handy feature when you are reviewing footage or moving around complex timelines. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, how does Toolbox stack up against other tools? Here's my take. Compared to official DaVinci color grading panels, yeah, those go deeper. 
but they are expensive and probably overkill unless you are a full-time colorist. Toolbox gives you a lot of control, not just for grading, but also for editing, retouching, and illustration, and it's way more affordable. As a freelance creator like me, who often has to wear multiple hats, I feel like Toolbox gives me better overvalue. And compared to products like Loop Deck or the NX Console, even though I haven't personally used those, I like that Toolbox stick with a non-screen, tactile-based design. It's all about feel. Once your muscle memory kicks in, you can fly through your work without looking down, kind of like playing a video game. And that really helped me to stay fully focused on what I'm creating. Plus, it's fully customizable and comes in different models, so you can pick out the one that fits your budget and workflow the most. So overall, I think the Elite Plus is a solid upgrade from the previous version. For just a little price more, you get better build quality, smoother button feel, new timeline tools, iPad compatibility, and soon hover adjust for color grading. It's not a massive redesign, but it's the kind of thoughtful update that makes a real differences in day-to-day -day use. If you are looking for a controller that puts your creative flow without breaking the bank. This is definitely worth a look. Let me know in the comments are you already using a toolbox, planning to upgrade? I would love to hear how it fits into your workflow. If this video helped you out, please feel free to like, subscribe, or drop a comment down below. I always try to reply when I can. I'm Daniel Chang, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.